is going on guys? We are back in the shop today and it is parts day. In the past few videos I've been teasing some new parts that I got for the IS300 expecting a reaction somewhat similar to Leonardo DiCaprio in that one movie. Ah, oh, what's in the box? Unfortunately, almost every single one of you guys called me out on exactly what those parts were and you were all right. I don't even know why I try anymore, but I'll show you guys what I got. All right, so on the parts list, we have a set of eBay's absolute finest CRD style side skirts, little rear bumper extension, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not hugely impressed. The, uh, the side skirts are honestly, they're not great, they're not great. But the rear lip is actually surprisingly good. It's all urethane stuff, so it's all super flexible and bendy and I won't have to worry about it cracking. But I am gonna have to drill my own holes for pretty much all of it and get it all fitted to my car to make sure that it actually like looks good. I, at this point, don't know if I'm gonna be using the side skirts because they're pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. So I think what I'm gonna do is test fit them on the car, make sure that they fit in a way that I actually am okay with leaving on my car and get all the holes drilled, get everything ready, so then I can just get them sanded and get them painted. Those of you that have been keeping up with the channel know that I got a bunch of 1CO paint for the IS specifically, so I'm completely ready to pretty much paint match these to my car, and it should be a pretty good match, considering the fact that I actually had to like choose the specific paint color at the store with like a specific light and everything matched it up to my car and everything. So it should be a pretty good match. And it should be a pretty welcome upgrade to my car because at this point it looks like the crimson chin, you know, a lot of chin, not a lot of butt, but this should fix that. So let's get into it. Bro, I swear, without fail, every single time that I wanna work on my car, it starts raining. I'm gonna continue work. Oh my God, it's really coming down now. I'm gonna continue working, but if it gets really bad, probably gonna have to pick this up later when it stops. I've got like half of the car jacked. Oh my God, it's getting, oh my God. Do you hear that? Look at that. Look at how hard that's coming down. <laughs> oh, I hate this shit. I need to move to California. All right, so it's still raining, so I gotta show you guys pretty quick. But I got the car in the air, and right here you guys see, that's where the rear lip has to mount. I tried test fitting it, but the issue is that this sticks out a little too far, so I can't actually get it to go all the way in. I think I'm going to pull these two Phillips head screws and try to stretch it across and hopefully screw it down to the factory location. And then we'll see how it fits. But I'm going to put you guys back in the garage because, of course, it is raining whole lot. I don't want to suck my camera. Unfortunately, even my stubbiest screwdriver doesn't fit in between the wheel and that. I'm gonna see if I can find another solution because I don't want to take the wheels off. That'll work. So I got the two little rear bumper cover supports off of it. Now let's get that thing bolted on. the lengths that I go to to bring you guys these videos. Because <laughs> that shit's hilarious. So I've got the rear lip on and it's looking really good. That's not bad. It actually fits pretty nice the entire way around the bumper. And it's looking pretty good. I think that a few of these gaps I can hit with the heat gun. And uh, once I double sided tape this top edge also, I'll take care of that. But at this point, it's looking good. I think I'm gonna try to test the side skirts and uh, get those on the car, see how they, they look. All right guys, so I tried test fitting the side skirts and honestly, I'm really unhappy with how they fit. I don't think I'm gonna be putting these on. So you guys can see, that's how they fit. This body line right there is pretty much supposed to match up with that and it completely doesn't. It's like a centimeter too low and this is pushing up as much as I can physically because the, the bottom of this is hitting the car. Also, you have to stretch them quite a bit to get them and I don't think that, like that would crack the paint if I tried to bolt it down like that. So, these are getting fucking returned. So before I drill any holes or anything like that, I think I'm gonna try to return them and possibly spend a little bit more money and get some actual TRD ones because those at least I know will fit. It's kind of annoying, but that's kind of the risk you run buying eBay parts. Luckily, the rear lip looks great. That thing, with, with a little bit of massaging, I can get it to actually look good. 
I'm not worried about how it's gonna fit. However, the skirts are just not salvageable in my opinion. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing any sort of modification or anything to them so that I can actually return them. So unfortunately at this point, I can't get any skirts on my car, which means that I don't really want to paint the rear lip. I kind of want to do that all at the same time so that I don't have to like mix a bunch of paint. I might, I might do it because I have to, because I have to wait for the return to go through and then get my money back and then buy the new skirts. So we'll see how long that takes. I'm hoping, I'm probably just going to order some new ones today and then if the return doesn't go through I'll just flame the eBay seller. <laughs> but um, depending on how far away the skirts are, I might start doing the paintwork on the rear lip. I'm really stoked about it. The only thing is that, as you guys can see, the exhaust is really close to that thing. And that is actually after I took off the two rear mounts of it because it, it hangs pretty up high towards the bumper. So I'm gonna have to find a way to lower that down. I might have to bend some of the, the rods to make sure that the exhaust hangs down a little bit so it doesn't like just come in contact with the lip with the two rear mounts on there it actually was so bad that it was pushing the lip up like you can see the marks right here of how high this lip was like it was sitting like up there i think that with a little bit of modification i should be able to lower that exhaust a bit other than that the lip fits great i think that once it's painted and completely on the car it's gonna add a whole new touch to this entire look and i think it's gonna tie it together quite a bit but that being said without the side skirts it's still gonna look goofy as hell see here's the thing when you buy ebay parts you're you're accepting a little bit of a chance that they might be shitty but dude like they were really bad like my front lip is just an ebay like 60 dollars front lip and it fits great there was a little bit of modification that i had to do to it to get it to fit but it works my rear lip again like a hundred dollar rear lip for an is 300 from ebay and a little bit of work but i think that it's going to look great once it's done those skirts were absolutely like i couldn't i couldn't do anything with them unfortunately that's something that kind of just comes with buying cheaper parts you guys saw with our whole build with sodas front end it was a little bit iffy because the, the parts weren't necessarily like they didn't fit very well but we made it work they were close enough these skirts are they're chooch, they're really bad. So those are getting returned. It kind of sucks that I wasn't able to actually like test fit them all the way, but if I went any farther into drilling holes and stuff like that, I wouldn't be able to return them. And I really don't want to go down that rabbit hole. So I'm gonna get new ones. Uh, probably next week you guys will see them. I'm probably gonna be working on the Eclipse quite a bit because that thing still has a lot of work to be done with it. If you guys like the content, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And feel free to come chill with the boys on Sundays. We've got streams starting at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, we're doing a little bit of Most Wanted, a little bit of Warzone, maybe, maybe some zombies. But we'll see, we'll see. With that being said, hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you guys next time.